it's not a game, it's a rage thing. Hey guys, I'm Hibrin and this is Double H. So, last time I made a video on my laptop, the ASUS TUF FX505 GT, but you guys had a lot of questions on the performance of the laptop. You guys wanted to know if the PC would turn with throttle, or if, if there will be any kind of performance issues or FPS drops. So, I make this video to test a few more games on the laptop to find out if the thermal throttling issues are well, actually true. So let's start with Rocket League. It is the he least heavy game in this list, so the FPS would always be in the three digits. The workload increases as we move to the next game, so the heaviest game comes last. Oh, and most of this video is purely gameplay, so if you don't want to watch the gameplay and see most of the details, I will be listing the average FPS of each game at the end of this video. So if you don't want to see all these gameplay, skip to them. Since this is a laptop, the temperatures are always about 80 degrees. It's pretty consistent. So it seems we're averaging about 200 FPS at the lowest setting in Rocket League. Next, let's move on to the next graphic setting, well, the most highest graphic setting. So now we're running Rocket League at the maximum graphic settings. As you guys can see, it's averaging about 130 to 150 FPS. It's fluctuating a lot, but yeah, I could say it's about 150 FPS at average. Next up, Valorant. Valorant is a new co-op multiplayer game quite similar to Overwatch. It's been growing rapidly since its launch and it's free. So let's see how the PC performs. Valorant isn't really a demanding game for this PC, so the FPS will pretty much be a really high number. We're running it at the lowest graphic settings right now, and we're averaging about about a hundred FPS, 120 FPS. So right now we're playing at the highest graphics settings possible in this game. So even after at the highest graphic settings, we're still getting pretty much the same as the low graphic settings, about 100 to 120 FPS. Moving on to Just Cause 4 is one of the more heavier games for the laptop and right now it's playing at the lowest graphic settings. It's set to the lowest graphic settings and yeah, let's see. This is one of those games which I well, at first thought that it's not really good, but after playing it, I really love the mechanics, the graphics is pretty good, and it's really fun to play. If I got it in, I got it free in Epic Games. Epic Games is giving away free games every week, so go check them out. So at the lowest graphic settings, we get about an average of 70 FPS. So we're at the highest graphic settings, the maximum graphic settings, and we are averaging about 50 FPS during gameplay, fights, and well, all the scenes.
Moving on to Dauntless, Dauntless is a f online free co-op game created by Epic Games. The game was pretty popular although it didn't reach the success of Fortnite and other popular games. It is surprisingly heavy to run on the laptop both at the maximum and minimum quality scale. As of now we're playing at the minimum quality scale and we're still averaging about 45 to 50 FPS. Running around the city and defeating monsters, it all gives about an average of 50 FPS. So right now, we're running around the city at the highest quality scale, and we're averaging about 40 FPS. So during monster hunts, the FPS keeps fluctuating. It's about from 40 to 60. For some reason, the highest, the highest quality scale has better FPS, it seems. Maybe it's normal throttling, or maybe it's something else. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Moving on to Hitman Season 1. So we're playing at the lowest graphics in the game. Well, we are not touching the resolutions in any of these games. Keep in mind, if you do reduce resolution, you'll get better graphics. So at the lowest graphics settings, we are averaging 60 FPS in this game. Though the average is 60 FPS, the game does fluctuate a lot depending on where you are. If you are in a less crowded situation, the FPS can go up to 90, and in a really crowded situation, it can go down to 40. We're at the highest graphic settings in Hitman, and the FPS does fluctuate a lot. It goes from 30 to 60, so the average is about 40 to 45 FPS. That's good enough to play a game like this. It's not a competitive game, so yeah. Next, Call of Duty Warzone. It is a very popular battle royale game, similar to Fortnite and PUBG, uh, RIP, and it takes 100GB to download and takes even more space on a disk, so installing it is a pain. But installing it is one thing, is it even worth it? Can your laptop run the game? We'll see. So playing the game at the lowest graphic settings, we are getting a consistent 60 FPS and there, ha there aren't much of a lag or anything. If we're checking it on the temperature of the GPU, it's still locked at 85 degrees Celsius. It doesn't seem to change. Keep in mind we're all talking about laptops so the temperatures will be pretty high, especially because it is a gaming laptop. Now we're at the highest graphic settings in the game and we're averaging about 50 FPS throughout the game and there are fluctuations from 30 to 60 yeah but it is about 50 FPS the average I'm pretty sure the laptop isn't fully rendering the maximum resolution or graphics because it only has 4 gigabytes of uh, VRAM but fully rendering this game requires even more. Coming to the last and the heaviest game in this list, Watch Dogs 2. So right now we're driving through the city in the lowest graphics settings and we're averaging about 50 FPS. As always there are fluctuations while driving really close to certain vehicles or going to certain locations. It's really common for games like this which are really heavy to play. Driving through the city at the maximum graphics, the FS takes a hit and goes down to 30 at average. 
the FPS drops become even more intense, it goes like down to almost 3 FPS to 10 FPS while driving close to cars and bikes. Walking in this particular room called the hack space of the game, the lowest graphic settings gives us about an average of 50 to 55 FPS. In the ultra settings, we reach down to about 30 to 40 FPS on average. Again, there are a lot of fluctuations. So, the average is kind of an estimate. It goes down to 10 FPS, it goes up to 60 FPS. It's really confusing. And I have noticed that not once has the laptop gone above 85 degrees Celsius. Maybe it's something that the developers did. So. Maybe if we can bypass that, maybe, maybe we might be able to get more performance. It was raining outside, so I thought I'd do a test. It sounds kind of stupid, but it did work. The FPS was way lower when it was raining. And this one is at max graphics. The average was around 25 FPS or something, but Still, the fluctuations were really high, it did go down to 0 FPS once while I was driving. I couldn't capture that part, but it did go down that much. Even at the lowest setting, it still fluctuates so much depending on where you are, which location you are in, what kind of condition you are in. So it basically ranges from 15 FPS to 60 FPS. I'm not sure what kind of average this is, but I'm guessing about 40 FPS or something. So I'm just gonna leave a gameplay of the um, of a mission in the game, so you guys can see this is the lowest graphics. And wait, I'm not sure is this the lowest graphic or the next one? You guys find out. I'll see you guys at the end of the video.
so we're done with the testing and let's get on to the results. So that's it for this video guys, if you want to watch more content like this, please subscribe to my channel Double H. I hope this video has cleared all your doubts on this laptop's performance. If you have any more doubts, please comment down below and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.